Today we're talking smarter marketing for ambitious SMEs and joining me with their top tips and advice for marketing your new business as well as promoting your existing one is Alan Blair, Head of Social Media from the digital marketing agency Tribal DDB, Andrew Brandon, Director of Petrona Travel Accessories and Mark Hopkins who is Head of Marketing for Volkswagen Commercial Vehicles. Welcome to the programme, guys. Now, when you're talking about starting a new business or uh, perhaps a, a small business that you already have, I would imagine marketing a marketing budget is, is quite tight. What advice would you give to someone in terms of their marketing budget spend? What well, do they do? I think it's really important for people to be um, distinct in their product. So, you know, know your product or service, know your customers um, and, and know your brand. Not everyone can be unique, but everyone can be distinct and different from their competitors. And I think they should focus on making their market, marketing budget work really hard um, mm. to, to do that. Um, so, you know, uh, PR, social media, all those different things that get your, get your message out there and allow you to tell a story about your brand and actually get people excited about it. And I guess social media is quite an inexpensive way of using your marketing budget in a good way. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's free to set up. Yeah. Anyone can do it. You don't need to have you know, any technical knowledge. You can just put your own pictures up there. It's, it's great. It's really easy to get, to get involved and get started. I think the pitfall that some people fall into is that um, they go onto social media like Facebook, but don't update it. Right. Of course, once somebody's seen your content and you don't refresh it, they're probably not going to come back. So it's really important if you're going to do these things that you keep it up to date. Yeah. Now, even as a big brand like Volkswagen, you have Twitter and Facebook? Absolutely, yeah. Is and it's probably the hardest part, making it interesting right. so that uh, your fans or the people who are coming into it keep on coming back. Um, because if you don't make it interesting, of course they won't. Right. I'd also say that you know PR is absolutely key for, for, for any business, whether it's product or service. You know, really, really focus on who you know. Really, really focus on those magazines which your customers read, um, and the web content that they read, and just make a list of two or three that you really want. Gift to them, write to them, pester them until they <laughs> until they really take it up, and they, they will eventually listen to you. And that coverage is, is worth money. Now, did you make any mistakes when you were first marketing the business? Yeah, certainly. I think you know we've spoken before about. You're falling into that advertising sales yeah. trap. You know, you get offered that great deal, which it actually turns out to be either not directed to your customer group, or it's just so small that you're not going to be able to see it. But it just costs you money. You don't see a spike in sales, and you know that money's gone. You never see that again. So just be very careful about that. I think that's the one thing I hear the most of is is people investing often large sums of money yeah. into something that uh, is actually not going to bring them much benefit because they perceive it's a great deal. It's yeah. such a dangerous pitfall to fall into. Just be really clear on what you want to do and stick to your plan. Absolutely. Now, social media, obviously, we've, just, we've, we've touched on in terms of it's a great way of getting the name out there and obviously in terms of advertising. But what about the future of that? That might be something for you, Adam, in terms of the future of it. Yeah, I mean, so I, I think if you look at social media, it's, it's changed rapidly in the last four or five years since, you know, yeah. since it, it came out. And I, I, I don't think there's going to be a huge amount of new platforms coming out, but I think the thing that's going to be really important for people to, to focus on is the technology itself. So mobile, I think, is, is, is a big one. And the way people use mobile devices for searching when they're out and about, tra you know, traveling around, in the shops, looking at things. I think people need to think about the effect mobile will have on digital and social media. I totally agree with you. It's, uh, <clears throat> I mean, our customers are out and about in their vehicles. We market vans um, and they're using their mobile phones to access the website. And they, they want to be in there quickly to find what they need. Instant, it's everyone wants yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah, and if they don't get that, they'll go to somebody else, so it is critical. And you know, consumers are particularly aware now about where they can find deals as well, and social media is a fantastic way to communicate your offers, mm. the deals that are gonna bring your sales away from people who are selling for you into your selling direct is where you make your most margin. So you know, think about discount codes and think about bringing people into your platform. So if you had sort of one top tip to give to someone that's a new business or somebody just starting out, what would be your top tip, Mark? Have a plan. Uh, you Marketing know, plan. In our business, we call it a strategy. It's just right. a posh word for a plan. <laughs> just have a really clear plan, stick to it, and make sure you don't don't meander from that plan going forward. Okay, what about you? I'd say you? focus on, on PR and trade shows, because that's oh, where you're okay. gonna see an instant return, and don't fall into that advertising pitfall. Okay, well, finally, Alan. I think it's about focusing on the thing that makes your business unique, mm. and how you're going to tell that story to your customers. Great, thank you very much. Well, my thanks to Alan Blair, to Andrew Brundon and to Mark Hopkins for joining us today. To hear the views of Volkswagen Caddy's SME Business Ambassadors and to find more info on the right van for your business, then go to facebook.com and search Volkswagen Commercial Vehicles UK or go to volkswagenvans.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.